Hey, welcome to part 27. The last episode, we learned the Song of Storms, Freedom. Speaking of jerks, we freed the soul of the composer, learned his song, and became captain over a bunch of style children. We didn't compose the song, we learned the song, but yeah. We, le we freed the soul of the guy who composed the song. And now we're captain of some people. Looks like a snake or something. This lit place looks totally evil. Look at all the skeletons. Yep, this place is evil. Seriously, is that gonna like turn to a snake? It's weird looking. What business have you in that kind of kingdom? The land where only the dead roam. And those two people that are alive. Snap. Still composing. This is no place for one as full of life as you. Nice mustache, by the way. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. Wait, what? In that case, the sleep trends lead to the melody of darkness at the great composer Sharp Shall Play. And join the ranks of the dead. Whoa! Now you will die, LRA. All right. All right. That's freaky, or it's just like you start dying, You're like sucking the life out of you. It's like this means nothing to me. What is this? This song? No, it can't be a song. If that starts playing. Oh, that would drive me nuts. <laughs> you know, for the first 10 minutes, it'd be kind of fun, but. Flat, my dear brother, forgive your foolish brother who jumped to the royal family's revival. You do not fear the dead. Learn my song that hurts people. Yes! With our, broken, with our brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me, and else thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the mass one who had upset things. Really? This girl kid caused all this. We truly do not fear the dead. I wish for you to go to the temple of this land, sever the root of this evil curse that torments us. To do that? You must seek out the king, and the only one who knows the way to the temple. The king is in the ruins of Icata Castle, away in the corner of the one who will break the curse. Sweet. I was outside the entrance there. I made my final request. So, are you still part of the curse, or are you, like, dead? No, I'm still part of the curse, dude. Like, he just reappears. Dude, no, I'm still here. You gotta go fix the curse. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah, this sucks. Sorry to hear that, man. Oh, that was worth a shot. Alright, get this thing off me. Shh. 
There's a certain little girl's house we need to get to. Just lightly playing. If she sees me, she'll probably come back. I like how she very calmly walks back in. Yeah, let me in! Okay, fine. So she she has a good enough sense of her surroundings to actually, like... I bet we could use a stone mask. Who's been down? Back off! No! I won't get off my case! I heard it. There she is, there she is. Self recon. She's like, Yeah, as I said before, this would be all well and good for like the first five minutes. Oh, got a poster. I wonder what those are for. Cozy little home in a bucket. See what the big deal is. Very colorful place. Give down, Garrett. What's this? What the? Uh, check. Sora Lang has been waiting for its human heart to be healed. Hang on. Question. This one looks like Sora Lang is waiting for its human heart to be healed. That is a very precise thing that you're saying, Tattle. All I'm seeing is a creature that looks like a Gibdo that wants to kill me. Obviously, what's going on is that give the Gibdos, like when they do the face second thing, kill their person and turn into a Gibdo. And this guy's in the middle of the process. He's starting to turn into one. I don't know this person. Is. I mean, look at the teddy bear. He's got a fish skeleton in there and a bucket. At least consider he's going to the bathroom, sort of. Not really. Haven't you figured it out yet? Yep. Whoa! Hi, little girl. <laughs> uh, I walk into people's houses all the time. Like every video game. I can't think of many video games where I don't just walk into people's houses. Or in real life. Uh, nah, I don't walk into people's houses in real life. Uh... Think we can save him? No! No, I will not get- Ah! Dang it! So, they said the do- like, the father and daughter who live there. They have pictures of Gibdos. So here's my analysis. She? In order to try to protect her father, who was studying Gimdos and the undead, try to hide him in the closet. So I glided there. Trying to, see that. Try to, in order to protect her, um, 
her father. Yeah, wait till she gets out. In order to try to like protect her father. And keep her locked up because so she, she doesn't know what else to do. I'm surprised though that like the Gimdo isn't eating her. You know what I mean? Like, um, his instincts, you'd think they would, like, kick in, and he'd, he'd just be like, ha-ha. And he'd be like, ha-ha, eat flesh, and then eat the little girl. Nope, that'd be way darker. The rest is because they saw, like, when she looked at him, he felt enough of his original self. There we go. There we go. There we go. Don't worry, I know what to do, though. What are you gonna do? Gonna heal him. Here we are. X Y R. X Y R. Bye. Don't worry, little girl. Got this in the bag. Link is here to help. What have I been doing this whole time? Uh, we locked you in a padded room. Literally. You haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You're just having a little nightmare. Wow. Oh. Did I crap? Don't tell me my super new power is going to be turning into a gimdo. You got the Gimdo mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pimel's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gimdo would mistake you as one of its own. Really? Let them be. Don't you get it? You're so insensitive. That I'm more concerned about? What? That teddy bear. And that skeleton. And that bunny. Cause you're so insensitive. Oh, I thought there was an option to like, read the book for a second. I was like, yeah, totally it. So, he must have been studying Gimdos. He got started to turn into one. And she, she, not knowing what to do, locked him up in the closet. And they locked him up in the closet. Once they were locked away in the closet, she just... She cared for him as best she could, but the condition was getting worse and worse. So when I finally came in and healed him, healed him to spare her, to spare him the pain of learning what happened. To escape the pain, uh, to give, uh, to not let him feel the pain of like the fact that she, that he endangered her and everyone around him. And not so he doesn't pr stop pursuing his line of work. He, like, she lied for him. And I just realized that that looks like notes. And how much you want to bet? I don't feel like looking it up or trying to play it. That those notes, I uh, saw it goes on outside. <sighs> Someone look into that for me because I bet it is. So I need to stop yawning. But that was beautiful! Thinking beautiful. Now, I got a feeling. 
What's, your, what's my feeling, you ask? Stop it! Man, I hate it! Do that! It's gonna be sunlight, son! You're gonna burn! Now, let's wait it out. So, yeah, that's one of those stories that is very interesting and very sad at the same time. And it's. It's like really emotional. Yeah, I heard. I think it's a song. Excuse me? Ha ha! I rock! Dawn of the second day. 48 hours of me. Doing pretty good. So, next episode, if this mask. Which I just realized I'm not wearing the right one. If this mask makes us look like a Gibdo, then I bet we can talk to the Gibdos. And I bet if we can talk to the Gibdos, we'll be able to. There you go. If we can talk to the Gibdos, we might be able to find a way to convince some of us through their doors. That works. So, that's what we're going to. Why do you keep doing that? That's what we're going to do next episode. So, see you then.